Hey everybody, it is Scarzard, and we are back for episode 2 of Friend Dead. I'm going to keep this one short, uh, but we don't actually start doing real in-video introductions for like two more weeks in terms of pre-recorded episodes, so for now you have me. Uh, just wanted to say before we hop right into the deck breakdowns how much I sincerely appreciate uh, the support and feedback on this series already. This is something that we care about and have been working on for a long time, and the fact that we already got like 500 views in the first week um, has been super awesome. So thank you for supporting the show so far, and uh, get ready for what is another nail-biting amazing game, starting off with uh, Shinkari, who, spoiler alert, as of this recording is in like every single episode, but he has a million decks. Anyways, we're going to start it off with Shinkari talking about his deck. Hi, my name is Alex or Shinkari. I'm going to be playing Saskia the Unyielding today. She is all the colors except for the bad one, which is blue. The, the whole thing in this deck is that I'm going to be trying to beat down my opponents as fast as possible using her ability, AoE damage, burn, and just lots of creatures just fast out of the gate. The tagline for this deck is called Shut Up and Die. All right, everybody, it's me, Scarzard, and I am here with one of my beloved decks. This is a monocolored deck, uh, Hazaret the Fervent. It's entirely based around discarding my entire hand. It's packed with a ton of sweet spells, and I don't want to cast any of them. Uh, she's indestructible, she's hasty, and so you try to build up a huge board and you abuse other sort of unique, weird discard synergies in mono red to beat face uh, much like Shinkari wants to do, as well as using her ability to pitch excess cards that we don't want uh, to, to, in some cases, kind of surprise people maybe with a block or uh, with a, a lot more damage than they anticipated. Hey everybody, my name is Matt, and today we're playing with the Gitrog Monster. Uh, my goal is to put lands in and out of my graveyard with effects like Crucible of Worlds and uh, kill everybody using not the combat step. Uh, hey gang, it's Eli, uh, running back my boy the Maelstrom Wanderer. Uh, much like two of my fellow decks at this table, bases are unwelcome in the Maelstrom's uh, kingdom. And so I'm just going to try to do it at least as fast and twice as big as the other aggro decks while <laughs> avoiding the frog. Sarazar! All right, sweet. Well, uh, Shankari, you won the invisible die roll once again. You're you're like a die roll master, racking up the racking up the points here. So you get to go yeah. first and uh, go right. ahead and start us off. All right, I'm gonna draw for turn. Shout outs to multiplayer. Yo, shout outs to multiplayer. Uh, multiplayer. Uh, I'm gonna play uh, a mountain. Oh, what? That's my mountain. Is that basic right. mountain. mountain. Uh, oh, what sure. the hell? Okay. All, all right. right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Less horrific than I anticipated. Uh, I'm going to play Valakut the Molten Pinnacle Tapped and pass the turn to Matt. <laughs> okay. uh, I'm going to go ahead and draw a card. Oh, we I'm came play... to play today, baby. <laughs> I'm going to play a forest, and uh, I'm also going to play a soul ring. And then I'll pass. <laughs> All right, Eli. Truce. Truce. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Tru for one turn. Our non soul ring yeah. alliance. All right. Of good. Drinkity draw. Verdant Catacombs, crack it. I'm going to grab a Tropical Island and play Birds of Paradise and pass the turn. Damn, never mind. The truce is canceled. What? You, wow. you disgust me. That is wow. not a soul ring. Soul ring, soul ring, bird ring. Birds Birds of Paradise is, is extremely not soul ring. <laughs> I cannot it's stress that. Born, more. I'm going to play Warcry Phoenix. What the hell? Sure. What it's, is that? Uh, it's a four mana 2-2 two -two with flying and haste. As whenever I attack with three or more creatures, I can pay three and return it from the graveyard to the battlefield tapped and attack it. Oh, okay. That's, Thank God. That's I thought Rebel it, Yell Phoenix, baby. I thought it was uh, going to be a good well, card. Well, Pat, take two. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, that's distinctly Pat. not a good card. Okay, choice. sweet. Good, 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 good. You're next in the turn order, and that is why I've selected you today. I understand. All right, well, I'm going to play my mountain, which looks a lot like your mountain, and uh, then I'm going to pass the turn to Matt. Uh, I'm going to... Go ahead and play Tainted Wood, uh, and I will tap for four. I'm going to use three of that to go ahead and cast Courser of Crufix. God. Ooh. So I'm going to go ahead and reveal that, and I can play it if it's a land card. But I've already played a land this turn, so I'm not going to. I'll pass. Okay. Uh, I'll go ahead and play Yavimaya Hollow, tap these bad boys, and play... I'll grab a basic island and a basic forest, and put the island into play. Feeling extremely mono-red right about now. Yeah, feels feels red, man. Okay. 
All right, go for it, Alex. I'm going to play a Plains. Mother of God. And then I'm going to tap one, two, three, four, five, sorry. Use four of it for Queen Marchesa. Damn. Yeah, you are I'm the monarch. Wait a castle. second. I'm king of the castle. Um, hey, Eli, that's a nice shields down you got there. Hey! How? Uh, how right. much? Five. five. So you should go to five. 34. And then I'll go to my end step and draw a card. Sweet. Draw a card for my turn. And I will play a mountain and pass. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and untap. And then I will draw this card for my turn. I'll reveal the top card. It's in tomb. <laughs> I'm going to... I Yikes. feel like I'm not really at the same table here. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and play a ghost quarter. Yeah. Um, and then I'll tap for... Oh, and I gain one life from that. Yeah, okay. I will uh, tap for five. I'll play Nissa Vital Force. Wow. Um, and then I'm going to plus one her to untap a land. It becomes a 5-5 five, five elemental with haste. I'll untap this forest, and then I'll tap it Wait, to cast... Plus one? Yeah. yeah, and then I'll cast Ancient Stirrings. Oh. Oof. So this card gets revealed. This card gets revealed. What in God's name is a constant mist? It's a it's a fog that has buyback where you sacrifice a land. I see. Yeah, it's very good. Um, so this is the only colorless card, and so then I'll put the rest of these back on the bottom. Please. Now I'll reveal the top card in my library. It's Dakmore Salvage. Sure. Yeah. Um, let's see here. I think I'm fine with passing. You don't want to become the monarch. I no, that's cool. No, oh, that's all right. Frightening, but okay. Go for it, Eli. <laughs> okay, that is very <laughs> concerning. <laughs> well, you know what they say: you got to know when to hold them. <laughs> you're gonna that start. Was... You're gonna start a howl. <laughs> you can't. You can't just do that. <laughs> uh, tap them up for ye old Glenalandra Archmage, because somebody has got to stop us from all dying and pestering. I'm going to go ahead and play a command tower. And with red, with green, black, red, and white, we're going to play the beautiful warrior princess herself, Saskia the Unyielding. Oh, my Damn. word. Yep. And um, we are going to name Eli as the player. What? Wait, what? What does this do? <laughs> so, Anytime so, his creatures deal damage, they also deal damage to the player. Oh, God. So, hi, Pat. How? Eight? You don't want to. You don't want to hit Mister Forty One Life Gitrog Monster with a Planeswalker. Uh, he can block. With nope, he can block a flyer. Or hold on, if I deal damage to Nissa, then I don't deal damage to Eli. So I'm gonna hit Pat Free. I. Oh my word, okay. Shikari! I'm incredibly disappointed in you. Yeah. And when we all get infinite combo, it will entirely be your fault. And I will pass the turn, and I'll draw for the monarch. Okay, I will play a mountain. So Just fast. going real slow over here, y'all. And I will tap all my mountains, and I will play Hazard. 5-4, indestructible. How many cards are in your hand, Pat? Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, <laughs> 5, 6, 7. Oh, okay, got it. Yeah. All right. I'm going to draw. I'll reveal this card. It's a Blooming Marsh. It's a Blooming Marsh. It's a Blooming Marsh. It's a Blooming Marsh. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get it popping and make it nasty. Um, yeah, sure. <laughs> uh, swamp, obviously. Nasty. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, play my good friend the frog. Oof. I'm going to blow up uh, that trop, and I'm going to trigger all draw card. Oh, God. Wait, what? <laughs> oh. Yeah, so so yeah, so yeah, I'm blowing up your trop. Uh, you get to go get a basic land and put it on the battlefield. Yeah. Untapped? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and play Dakmore Salvage tapped. For my next trick, oh, and, then you, uh, and you gained life for both of these. That's correct. Yeah. I so you, so you're at. Hold on, I need to say this to Shankar. You'll listen. Forty three. You're at forty three yes. life. Okay. Watch good. out, everybody. Watch out, everybody. I'm exactly one lightning bolt away from my starting life total. Eli's at twenty six. A true, true danger. Forty three is an embarrassment of riches. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and plus one, uh, and I will untap this tainted wood. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, go ahead. Oh God! I don't think there's a damn thing that stops this train. Okay, windswept teeth, priest of Titania, pass. That one just adds mana for Each how many elf elves? In play. Okay. Yeah. Elves in play. I was God, hoping for more elves. Work. I'll be honest. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry that my deck is not uh, really elf in it up here. You know what? Well, man? I'm gonna go ahead and That's play fine. a swamp. Okay. What is the card on top of your library, Matt? Uh, it is worm harvest. 
Yeah. Okay. Then I'm going to move you to know, combat. You know, harvest. And uh, we're going to have... I swear to God. go at Nissa and three go at Eli. Okay. I will block with Birds of Paradise, then tap it and regenerate it. All right. Okay. So Nissa loses five. Correct. She's at one loyalty now. Okay. I have one more trick up my sleeve. <laughs> oh. I guess Show me what you got. I'm going to cast uh, Call Against Command. Ooh. My modes are going to be uh, destroy target artifact and deal two damage to target creature player. And I'm going to destroy the Sol Ring over there for Mr. Git Rogue. And then I'm going to deal two damage to Missa. All right. I'm going to go ahead and not counter that. All right. That's true. Oh, boy. Yeah, all right, well, I'll play another mountain. So one more mountain, I'm going to start volicutting. I'm, I'm going to volicut all of y'all. Tap five, and uh, still playing extremely red cards. Play Jaya Ballard. Uh, Are you sure you would like to try to commit that to the board? Do you think it's good to stop me from playing Jaya Ballard? I think it's completely acceptable for me to capitalize on tempo. Uh, okay, I mean... Buddy, I got to tell you, none of these Volokut triggers have to come at you at all, but okay. there are going to be right. a lot of them. <laughs> I tell you what. And Try it is. I, I think you, really you and I have suffered the most here, Eli, and I don't think we should be fighting I one agree. another. I agree. All right. I'll, I'll take that. So Jaya comes in with five, uh, and I'm going to plus her to discard up to three cards and then draw that many cards. So she's going to go to six, and I'm going to discard uh, extra planar lens, Seagate Wreckage and Guy Reach Sanitarium. All right, and that is it for me. Okay, uh, untap. Uh, on my upkeep, I have to sacrifice the frog or a land, so I'll sacrifice this Gitrog, or Dakmore yeah. Salvage, rather. That seems fine. Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, go ahead and use the dredge trigger to go ahead and drop two of these in here, uh, and then I will go ahead and draw a card. Uh, you draw Dakmore. Yeah, I did. Uh, we do so, get to still, so, we still see the card that you drew, though. Correct, correct. Sorry. So backing up, this is the card I drew. I drew for my so I yes yeah uh, exploration. Exploration. Yeah. So I I dredged off Dakmore Salvage. Yeah. Oh right, get wrong. Okay. And then good. and then and then this is my draw step. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So draw step. Okay. Yeah, and so then reveal we'll, the top card. The top card. So let's go ahead and uh, gain one life for that. That's Beast Within on the top. Um, I'm gonna. Tap one to play exploration. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and play a lot. Is it unless I pay one or just counters it? Just counters it. Yeah. Okay. It's it's just really good. Oh yeah, for sure. Uh, and then I'm going to I'll go ahead and fetch. And so there's a draw trigger on the stack. So I'm going to go ahead and draw this beast with him. Be able to top card, and then I go fetch. I've only seen Gitrog Monster played once before, and we all died on turn five. That's not happening this time. I don't think my deck is probably that optimized. But. Yeah, I'm just saying I am extremely <laughs> afraid of what's happening this, over here. This card fell out of my deck when I was shuffling, so I'm putting it back in. Okay. Did I didn't look at it. But I do have the tape, motherfucker. Alright, Gerard's Orders is on top. So I uh, played one of my lands for a turn. I will play my second land for turn, which will be Temple of Malady. Um, gain another life, and I'll go ahead and scry this to the bottom. Temple of Malady, yes. Yeah. Temple of Malady. <laughs> okay. And I'm going to go ahead and pass the turn. Okay. I'm sorry I couldn't uh, do this sooner, but I had to determine whether or not it would be safe to get an untapped source. I'll go ahead and pop Windswept Teeth for Breeding Pool. Okay, let's right. uh, let's let's maelstrom our way out of this one. A thing I I may soon come to regret. Let's yeah, let's see where the fucking maelstrom takes it, boys. Tap it down. Go wandering. I have I have real plays, and then I have this, which is always correct play in my yeah. Mind. All right, we're cascading and cascading. All right, so cascade one. <laughs> Arbor elf. Yeah, it's a hasty uh, Arbor elf. Consecrated sphinx. I'll take oh, that. Oh, that's one. that's pretty dope. That's a better one. I know I've been hitting you a lot, but <laughs> <laughs> that's I always how it's continue to passively hit me. Hit me. If you, if, uh, we can join forces against the Gitrogue, and then y'all, y'all, hold on, hold on, just one, one minute. Okay. Consecrated Sphinx, Maelstrom Wanderer, Birds of Paradise, Clinalendra, Saskia, 
Queen, Queen Marquesa and uh, Soul Ring are are just they're things that are on the board currently. Yeah, not not here. Hey, 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 uh, Hazaret the fervent Matt. Uh, sorry, you sorry. Just start naming the things. Fervent. Start naming things that are on the field, buddy. Uh, well, I mean, I was I was naming. Listen, I was naming important things. I will also note that if you're using as the monarch, you actually draw more cards. What? Oh yeah, that's actually. Oh yeah, yeah. Never mind. You're right. You're right. You're right. <laughs> just saying. Wow. Just saying. Also, I don't know if you took damage from Saskia's ability last time because I dealt damage to. Uh, I don't think you shouldn't have taken five. I did not. Yeah. No, he, he did not. He did not. I, I didn't. I didn't ding him. Uh, let's see what we got here. Okay, uh, four in the air at the frogman, and that's really all I can spare, unfortunately. So I will pass. Yeah, uh, I'm at forty-one. I'll play a faux rest. Let's go like this. Green and one. We're going to play a query and dry it. See, two mana, one, one. Whenever I cast a white, blue, black, or red spell, he gets plus one, plus one. Uh, sadly, I do not have said of those colors. I only have good colors in my deck. So <laughs> we're going to ramp a growth. Wow. Uh, Maelstrom Owner gives your other creatures haste, correct? Correct. Yes. Okay. We are going to grab a forest. We're going to grab a cool forest. Look at this forest. Boom. Oh. Hot damn. What a forest. That's a nice forest you got there. Yeah. Cool ass forest. Cool ass forest. Yeah. Yeah. How big is it? Is Big Rock is Girog a six six? Yeah. What yeah. the, the hell, What the fuck get wrong? Yeah. With that yeah. touch. I remember this was, this was incredibly relevant to that turn I just took was the yeah. fact that it has six toughness. Um hey Mr. Gitro Momstead. Hello. Um five for Please. Me. My precious precious face. Uh yeah, I'm at thirty six. All right. Okay. Five, and then Eli 20. goes down to 20. All right, buddy. Saskia's days are numbered. Okay. Um, I mean, I hope so, because I'm going to tap four and play Helm of the Host. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, that gets real fucked up, huh? Yeah. yeah. Sure <laughs> does. All right. Whew. Uh, and then I will pass the turn. And then at my end step, I'll draw from the Monarch. You going to draw two here, Eli? Uh-huh. Yeah. And then you want to you draw two more? Cause I'm, from what? Because I'm, oh, yeah. I'm I'm about to draw. Oh yeah, yeah. draw all of them. Yeah, I'll draw. I will draw for my turn. The Thanks. whole cards. Yeah. <laughs> I ate the bones. <laughs> he <laughs> ate the bones. <laughs> Thanks. I hate it. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm I'm going to, uh, tick up Jaius to seven and discard three more cards. We are filtering like a motherfucker. Uh, I'm gonna discard cards that will sound insane to you. Uh, Cage Sun. Mm-hmm. Mirror pool and a basic mountain. Well, I was upset about the cage, son. See, look, now yeah. you don't have to worry Some about it. Some of those cards sounded insane to discard. Yeah. Now, yeah, now you don't have to worry about it. It's gone. Well, no, no big deal. Uh, Wait, Eli, did you draw a six off of that? Oh, oh yeah. Oh, my God. Yep. Yeah, hell yeah, I did. Yeah, you want me in the I game. Sh- you want me in I the game, Eli. I'm going to feed drew you. Six off of that. Are you joking? Yeah. yeah and, and you want someone else to be the monarch. You don't want to be the monarch. Okay, so here's here's the deal, man. I finally understand Grima Worm Tongue's whole shit, man. <laughs> okay, I'm playing a mountain, and Valakut is gonna trigger. Um, so I get to shoot something for three. <sighs> man, uh, Eli, I definitely want to not incur your wrath, but I'm this trying to have to be incurred here. <laughs> yeah, that's that. Yeah. Okay, well. At, at... There's, I mean, there's, you there's could also bolt the face of the guy who's man. constantly gaining life it's every just... turn. I feel like I just need to like for the, for the viewers at home. I'm just listen, 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 like listen. I've lost more times to Maelstrom Wanderer than I can remember, and I can't. I don't have a way to mount like a counterattack here. <laughs> I don't know that it's smart for Eli to fuck me up. I'm just trying to figure out if, where this no, where this thing has got to go. You're the least of my concerns. Okay, then then I have to shoot Glenelendra. What? What part of least of my concerns? motivates you to attack i thought you were saying that because i'm the least of your concerns even if i were to try to remove a counter spell from your board well you wouldn't invest in trying to kill me because it because you're at 20 life you know me as a person and how vindictive and petty you're right i'm gonna kill queen marchesa okay (laughs) stack doesn't normally have this many cards in hand but sometimes you gotta roll with the punches i'm gonna play combustible gear hulk uh 
You know, <laughs> but I'm at the lowest life when I have a consecrated sphinx. I have exactly one answer to combustible right. hero's question. <laughs> okay. Yeah, well, I'm trying to think if I want those cards. Uh, yeah, I, I am going to put the trigger on you, Eli. You're going to let me draw Hell three? Hell yes. Let me draw another six. Let's okay. Go. <laughs> Holy fuck. All right, Matt, if you got an infinite combo here, pal, let's uh, let's see it. Uh, IMO. Yeah, there's n none of that in this. One, two, three, four, none five, six, seven, eight. Okay, well, I'm going to move to my uh, discard, my cleanup step, and I'm going to discard a mountain <laughs> to, just to broadcast how much jack shit oh, I'm just... doing over here. <laughs> all right, all right. This is, this is fucking... Is a... I'm done with it. Matt's go. It's your turn. Please, <laughs> God. This is a powerful, powerful... We are, all, we are all sons of bitches. Eli. Yeah. Would you like some more cards? Because I'm going to sacrifice this swamp to the Gitrog monsters. Oh, man. I don't, like, yeah. Let's I'll go, go ahead and draw this I, I will. I will okay. be clear that the one of the Reveal times this. we beat Eli was him decking himself to Maelstrom Wander. Oh, no. This I'm going to draw this card cards. now. Yeah. This is the second card for my draw step. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and draw two more. Attaboy. <laughs> I like you thought for <laughs> maybe a moment you were strong you enough thought... to resist it. <laughs> you thought you could. All right. I'd like to gain a life. Uh, playing okay. Windswept Teeth. You got it. I'd like to pay that life to fetch, draw trigger, draw this polluted delta. Similarly got it. Reveal this. Eli, you want to uh, you want to draw two more cards off that one? Yeah, yeah. bloody. And then I'm going to go get another <laughs> here for a good land time here. For a long time. Well, I have a solid quarter of my deck. In my I'll go get a Dryad Arbor. Uh, for my second land for the turn, I'm going to play polluted delta, gain a life, crack it, lose a life. <laughs> uh, go fetch. Oh, sorry. Is that draw you a card? Draw trigger. Yep. Yeah. Reveal ahead. this. Go get this card. It's a swamp. Oh, Lord. All right. How uh, much life? Did you, you, you gain two uh, extra life? It, yeah, just two life total. Yeah. Okay. So you're, you're at 37 because you lost one? Or? That's correct. Okay. Or, sorry, 38. 38. 38. Good, good, good. 38. Shuffling, God, Eli, shuffling, just shuffling, don't, shuffling. don't even fan it out. Just hold the big Revealing. stack of cards in your hand and show it to the camera. In right hand. Now. God, yeah. no. Okay. <sighs> All right. So does that turn you on? We're going to be at that cleanup. It certainly for a while. does me. All right, Matt. Not what? drawing, not drawing into a whole lot of good stuff here. Same as I so, look at a hand of six lands, having just really. So I'm actually lands. going to. Uh, I guess. I guess I pass. Okay. Uh, draw for turn. Like absurd peasant. Draw one card. Good. Yeah. The good news is one of them is not real great. <laughs> yeah. This uh, is how we win. Bad y'all. news. However, is that one of them is Selvala's Stampede, which is what we'll be doing here. Okay. What does that do? Oh, Selvala's it's Stampede. A, it's a precious card. Council's Dilemma. <laughs> Starting with you, each player votes for wild or free. For each free vote, reveal cards from the top of your library until you reveal a, car, a creature card and put it into play. Then shuffle the rest of your library. And then I can put a permanent card from my hand on the field for each free vote. So if you vote free... I get to put a permanent from my hand into the battle. If you vote wild, I cascade until I hit a creature. Put it into play. It and you get to cascade twice off the spell being cast. No. No. Bill no. Wander is he just he just cascades twice when he gets when to play. He comes to understood. Play. Understood. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I'm thinking of you. So here's the here's the thing. I played against this card enough and I have it in one of my decks. With a normal hand size, the play is always to vote from hand because yeah. because the then they have less cards in hand and you don't give them the free shit and stuff they can play from hand. Eli's hand is about a third of his deck right now. So yeah. I don't... Oh, I, I'm, I'm voting wild. Ah, uh, okay. For sure. uh, so it starts wild. with me. So. That's his deck. Wild is his deck. Yeah, yeah. Wild, wild is the so, deck. Yeah. I'm going to go with free. You're mad. So, so that's, that's hand. So yeah. he, he voted I, for hand. Hand or deck, yeah. Shankari. I'm and deck happens vote. first, for what that's worth, if that happens. Yes. Uh, I'm going to vote for deck. So two decks. Patrick? <sighs> or yeah. yeah. Um, the well, reason, well, well you, voted for, you voted for hand, right, Eli? So, so, yes. So, okay. So, so Matt, if, if you're going to vote deck, then, mm -hmm. I'll, then I'll do deck. I yeah, think it's deck. spooky as hell, but we're going to do it. I mean... Right. No, I know. You're right. Look, I, 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 he has more it's, than a it's quarter of a choice, in his hand. If we you know. choose hand, then he gets to choose what card he goes to the play. If he chooses deck, then it can be something dumb. Like something right. like Fendorhorn Elves. Elves. There we go. All right, there's one. Or Land of War Elves. Wow, no way. Or 
And then Xenagos. All right. Yeah, Xenagos matters. Yeah, Xenagos okay, well, Xen- okay, so now we've now we found something that. All right. Well, it yeah. is an active Xenagos as well. So this does shuffle. Uh, Do you want to bring Xenagos maybe over to your more relevant permanents on board? Because we're getting to <laughs> yeah, the sure. state. We're getting to the Maelstrom yeah. Wanderer board state here. Yeah. Uh, I'm just gonna put the mana dorks over here. I'd like to remind you guys that priests, uh, priests of Titania, taps for elves. Yep. Mana equivalent to elves. Mm-hmm. A lot of elves right now. Yes. All right. So I'm shuffling for the free resolution. I'm gonna cut, and then free resolution. I'm feeling really great that I know you took a uh, creator of behemoth out of your deck. Yeah, you are. Though <laughs> you at, are this point, though at this point, though at this point, mercy. You know, like like just just kill us all. Yeah. Thing is, like I don't have truly great hits here, so I'm gonna go with Itali Primal Storm. Yeah. Because we're just gonna keep. Keep the good times rolling. Priestess taps for one, two, three, four by herself. So I'll tap birds to play Boreal Druid, which is a, a fifth elf, and itself taps for mana. Man, at least my mountains look cool, though. That's what I'm saying. One, two, <laughs> I'm with you, man. I'm actually three, upset four. that I don't have all. I have all but like five of my mountains are the Amon Cat Mountains because I figured that would that would be cool with Hazaret. So I'll, I'll put uh, Garuk Wildspeaker into play. <sighs> yeah. Plus one M, untap, Breeding Pool, and Spire Garden. This is really working for me. I'm really feeling it. <laughs> um, <laughs> Art feeling it now, Mr. Krabs. <laughs> Mr. Krabs is certainly fucking feeling it, let me assure you. All right. Uh, Priestess taps for five. Uh, red... So three of the green mana for Grand Warlord Radha. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh-huh. That's fine. Uh, yeah. Uh, so I have uh, two green mana still floating, right? Yeah. Yeah. Are we going to infinite combat step town? We're n- no, we're not. We're okay. not going infinite. We're just going big. Yeah, we sure are. Let's see. I'm going to give Xenagos trigger to Consecrated Sphinx. Okay, so Consecrated Sphinx is an 8, 10. Yes. Okay, so go to combat, declare attackers, uh, Rada, Itali, Sphinx, Archmage, Maelstrom Wander, Xenagos. And we, so Radha gains me 1, 2, three, 6, uh, mana in any combination of green and red mm-hmm. uh and i'll just four green to red okay um okay so death touch blocker is toad yeah. so i'm gonna send my flyers over there which is nine damage okay plus my uh plus my indestructible zinnagos that, that's ground. five yeah and then at saskia i'm gonna send Rada, Atali, and Maelstrom Wonder. Okay, okay. So, so, so now First, before before blockers are even declared, we do Atali. Atali. Yeah. Exile, <laughs> I exile a land. Well, it's a Gilded Lotus. Okay, so I have a Gilded Lotus, which I'll grab um, out of my... Well... What was the... What else, what else did I get? Mother uh, of Runes. Mother of Runes and Gilded and, Lotus. And Radiant Fountain. Yeah, yeah, so, so that's, yeah, that's exiled. So, okay. Oh, yeah, thank yeah. you. Gilded Lotus and... Mom, mom fires a white mana, right? Uh, no, she it's free. Okay. It doesn't, she doesn't cost mana to use her ability, I, th- I don't think. Great. Uh, okay, so blockers, y'all? Okay. Um, can you tell me the amount of power that's coming at me? It looks like 14, 18? Uh, so 3, 9, uh, 16. Okay, so 16. 16 is fine. Okay. I'll take 16. Okay. okay. I'll block Xenagos with this Dryad Arbor. Block Xenagos with Dryad Arbor. Okay, cool. And, and you take nine in the air? Yeah. Is that the combat? Sorry. I just want yeah. to make sure I get my trigger once combat damage is done. Yeah, that's combat. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and draw this card. Okay, and I'll draw two. Mm-hmm. Are you playing my mother rooms? Is that what that is, the little piece of paper? Yes. Yeah. This is mom. Sorry. Okay, yeah, Guild of Lows and mom are over here. Um, all right, so I have six mana from attack plus a Gilded Lotus. <laughs> I will use I'll make an acidic slime and then tap the lotus for blue. Okay. To get Sahili Rai. Yeah. 
and then I'll minus two Sahili. Well, what Wait. what what is getting acidic slimed oh, first? Yeah, acidic slimed is acidic slime is going to kill Helm of the Host. Okay, and then I'll make the, an additional acidic acidic slime to with kill. Sahili. Yeah, with Sahili to kill uh, Soul Ring, and that's my turn. Okay, and so your other copy goes away, and so you no. just. The Sahili oh, yeah, right copy yeah. goes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It does. Yeah, okay. uh, yeah. It does. So you're yeah. just sitting on a two-two. Yeah, I guess I am. Okay. <laughs> and how much untapped mana do you have? One blue, one or one green or blue. Okay. Well, gentlemen, we have our work cut out for us. <laughs> I agree. Go for it, Shinkari. Oh, I'm gonna discard down to hand size. Oh it's yeah. Abusive. Yeah, I think at this point you can just just do that at your own pleasure because it's it's really about if you get to another draw step <laughs> at this point. <laughs> Twenty oh. is not the highest. To play mountain. Well, well. So, so here's the situation, Alex. He's got a single blocker, twenty life, and a one shot counter. So, if you can open the gates here, we can all try to beat the living shit out of him. I, I can open the I can open the gates. Well, I absolutely uh, am gonna have a Valakut trigger, and I have a combustible yeah, okay. gear hog. Okay, so wait. Yeah, what works. is I'm what right. is Eli's life total currently? Twenty. That is a lot higher than I thought it was. You know, with with Saskia in play, you can make that 16 with just a single attack. Matt, what is your life total? 30. Matt is at 29. And he also drew a Zurin orb. And he has a fog I on did. top of his library. Which are things that we may, that we probably need to know in the event that Eli gets murdered brutally after playing <laughs> that turn. I'm going to play a Voice of Resurgence. Okay. And it's going to put a plus one, plus one counter onto my career and dry it. Mm-hmm. Then I'm going to move to combat. Okay. And I'm going to attack Pat. Me? These two. Yes. With these two. And then Warcry Phoenix at Eli. I'm absolutely going to block with this first striker. So before you block, I know I'm attacking you for five damage, but it is to get to Eli with the most amount of damage possible. So, yeah, but I don't have to take that little one, right? I can, I can still take Saskia. Because then Saskia hits him for three, and then he goes down to 13. He will take total uh, three plus four is seven. Yes. He so, will take so. an additional two, and he can go down to, um, that's nine, he'll go down to 11. Yeah, I'm blocking your your non-Saskia creature here. Yeah, that that uh, that thing, yeah, you're, you're taking two in the air, which will be magnified to four, and then I'm going to take three from Saskia, which will hit you for three. So you go down to 13 right now. Got it. Green and Dryad is now dead. Then I will. Pat, how close are you to being able to discard cards to deal damage to our good friend Eli? Um, well, that all depends on what I draw in this moment, which we're gonna see what we can do. Uh, do you? Oh, and I get I, I'm the monarch, so I get. Yeah, I forgot to. So I, I drew from monarch, and then I drew a two on draw step. Yeah. Um, I was looking around. You were saying that you can help get in there, Matt. What? What? Uh, sorry, have you already drawn? Me? Yeah, I just did. Okay. So you can draw you can draw two as well if you want. Um, my question is, does this lightning bolt have to go at his two two blocker? I think that I'll just remind you I have mother. Of well, no, I, I mean I mean, uh, this is a mountain and you can't give it protection oh, okay. from colorless. True, but that that's yeah okay. But you you do have a second blocker for what it's worth. Yeah. So I, I uh, with mom on board, I can't really deal with uh, I cannot deal with the two two blocker. Um, especially considering that my answer would give him a benefit that would make a better blocker. Uh, <laughs> so uh, given what is currently the board state, I would say that maybe you should just lightning bolt the Glenelendra or Valakut it. Or you could just take out the last blocker and try to kill. Well, well, well he's, two, he's two blockers, right? Because he's a mom and he has a... Oh, yeah, yeah, you're correct. Thing. Mm -hmm. um, and then I have a first trick. I think I can create a situation where you can uh, try and get in there uh, where where you might have to go into the red zone if you want to oh if you want to oh I know it's scary but you do have a fucking six six. Um, yeah. I'm gonna use this on the death touch guy on a six line. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Falcon's gonna line. trigger on that. I'm going to tick up and and discard three, draw three. So I'm gonna discard wasteland, molten tail Masticor, and uh, non Amon Cat Mountain. Okay. To draw I'm three. Draw six. Yep. You just you keep living that dream, buddy. Three, four, five, six, seven right now. <clears throat> if I attack with combustible gear hulk, it's getting blocked. Uh I can get him with six. 
is what I can is what I can do. And that leaves him at seven. And the, yeah, and that that'll put him at seven. And he has he'll have one blocker. Yes. After that, or no blockers because he has to use mom for that. Yeah. To block. Assuming that that is w- what he will end up doing. Right, right. And he's got one blue mana untapped. Yeah. So I do need to factor that in. Well, okay. Well, then maybe I can't get in for more. Um. Okay. This is awkward. Well, I need to hit him with combustible gear Hulk no matter what mm-hmm. to to force a block here. Right. Um. How integral to you assuming assuming that i remove his last blocker uh what what's the lowest you think you can get him to uh so if you remove his last blocker yeah i can deal 11 damage that's a that's a good number to me okay well then i'll just go to combat and i will swing six six first strike at eli so my options are give up my blocker and take 11 or take the six on the swing I don't. I I do not know what's happening over there. You are at thirteen, and I am attacking you with six right now. That's that's all I can say for you. Mm-hmm. I'll take it and go seven. Okay. All right. Um. Cool. Then. Uh, yeah. Then I I pass the turn to you, Matt. Okay. Can Can Hazard? You can discard a card and deal two damage to each opponent. Yes. So, God, I wish he didn't have the blue mana. Well, so so as Shinkari has made it clear, I'm representing the ability to deal four damage. So all you got to do is get in for three. Yeah, that's the tricky part, is I have six power and two power currently. Uh, and I don't know that he's going to let me get this three power. <laughs> but I can certainly try and see what I draw into, because I might draw into something that will allow me to do the rest. So on your end step, I'm going to cast Beast Within, targeting my own Tainted Wood, or my own Swamp. Oh, interesting. Does that? Uh, I'll I'll counter it. Yeah. Okay. So then I'm going to go ahead and go to my upkeep, uh, and I'm going to kill my swamp to the Gitrog monster. Draw this card. Okay, got you. And then I will reveal and draw for my turn. What was got the two. second card you drew? Uh, Harrow. I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then this is Oracle of Moldaya. So I'm going to cast Zurin Orb. Very Gitroggy. Oh yeah. I'm going to for my first land drop play Dakmore Salvage. I'm going to go ahead and sack this Dakmore Salvage to gain two life. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to dredge it back. Um, Devoted Druid is on top. Okay. I'll draw two. I didn't draw a card. It's a replacement effect. Oh, sorry. Pardon. Right. And then I'm going to... Shinkar, do you have any instant speed damage at all? Hanging nope. out over there? Nope. You can't You can't flash it at Dictate of the Twin Gods? or. Well, I did have two extra damage, but you blocked it. Well, hold on now. <laughs> you, you 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 didn't even want to attack me with you didn't want to talk about that. What do you mean? I said I'm not attacking. I said I I needed to get through the damage. You could have just attacked it at him. I I couldn't have. He would have blocked it. Yeah, and then I and would so have killed I said, him. I, I'm just so saying, I'm don't act ahead. like so you had only one way. So, so this, is, this goes nowhere. Let's let's yeah. let let's. Uh, let, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, Harrow. And as part of uh, the cost, I'm going to sacrifice this forest. So I'll put the draw trigger on the stack and go ahead and draw. Draw two. And then I'm going to go ahead and get two basic lands, put them on the battlefield. Okay. So I still have another land drop. So I'm going to go ahead and I don't know that I'll be able to kill him this turn, guys, but I can try to keep us from dying. Okay. Um, I'll play Maze of Ith and yep. gain a life. Go to 36. Yep. I'm going to go ahead and gain two more life off of Zirin Orb and draw a card. Okay, you get a 38. I'm going to go ahead and tap this forest and then sacrifice it to gain two more life. Okay. Draw Burgeoning. Use the green to cast Burgeoning. Okay. okay. So whenever an opponent plays a land, I can put a land card from my hand onto the battlefield. So this is where things get a little bit fucky, if you will. I'm going to move to my discard step. Okay. Uh, sorry, no way. I, no way. I should attack first. Um... So I'm going to go ahead and attack. Uh, you, you still have mom blocking, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and attack you for eight. Uh, mom can't give herself protection, correct? She can. She can? Okay, I'll give mm-hmm. mom protection for green and block get rug. Okay, so you take two more. So you get a five. So, um, so I'm going to move to my discard step. Uh, I'm going to discard Dakmore Salvage. When Dakmore Salvage enters the graveyard, I draw right. a card, but yep. I'm going to go ahead and draw Vampire Hex Mage. Eli, do you want to be drawing for these? You, oh, yeah. You may Absolutely. as well. Yeah. yeah, okay, hell yeah. 
Uh, and then it's all you. Okay. All well, right. well I, then, I then, have... then at the end of at the end of his turn. Yeah, you take him to one. Yeah, I, I discard handware Garrison, and I discard Opal Palace. Okay. And I and everybody takes One four damage. damage. One life isn't Come. that odd. <laughs> you could have. Right. You could have you... attacked him straight up. Do you guys? Do you guys have have, have the instant speed damage? Okay. So on tap, up keep and draw. Let me um, know if you play a land. I will tap forest for Elvish Mystic. Priestess taps for seven and cast. Tooth and Nail, Unentwined. I'll put Pathbreaker, Ibex, and Avenger of Zendikar. Get one, two, three, four, five, six. Can you uh, read Pathbreaker, Ibex for me? Yes. Pathbreaker, Ibex says, whenever Pathbreaker, Ibex acts, creatures you control gain trample and get plus X, plus X until end of turn. X is the greatest power among creatures you control. Cool. Which currently is seven? Well, I yeah. guess... It'll I guess, be 14 by yeah, the time I when, when Zena goes, yeah. Yeah, actually, it'll be higher. So... What are the, what are all the instants and sorceries and everyone? Everyone's <laughs> graveyard. Yeah. Call against uh, command. I don't have a single one. Okay. I have ancient stirrings, worm harvest. Uh, sorry, uh, beast within, harrow. Okay, so not really worth my time. I uh, will instead. All right, I'm. I don't need to go any further. I'm going to do going to ultimate group wild speaker. So. All my creatures get plus three, plus three, and gain trample. Yep. Um, move to combat. Yeah, I think You're in it. I think we're going there. Yep. Uh, so I'll stack my my combat triggers so that Xenagos gives um, Maelstrom Wonder plus seven, plus seven. Well, it'll be plus ten, plus ten because he's got plus three, plus three from Gear. Oh, right. Yeah. Plus so everything plus will get plus twenty. Yeah, and then I um, I'll leave uh, Mom. And the elves that aren't birds of paradise behind, and then I'll just point a giant trampoly fuck you army at everyone. Okay, and then do are we resolving Atali's trigger as well? Yeah, let's Atali as well. All right, baby. Let's I have a Draenir temple. Okay, I have a you know, basic land. Fuckload of mana. Alex, get, what's a, what's on the top of your deck? Uh, utter end. Utter end. Great. Utter end is exile target permanent? Yeah. Non land permanent. Non land permanent. Non land, non -land permanent. Uh, let's hit Hazaret. Okay. Hazaret is exiled. And costs so which, much more. So, which creatures are going where? So, I have six tokens that are all 10x, uh, 10 11 tramplers, mm -hmm. along with my actual creatures. Does it. Does it matter at this juncture? I mean, I have Maze of Ith, and uh, I'm also going to cast Constant Miss. Which, does that fog? With buyback of sacking the swamp. Yeah, okay. so that draw prevents card. all combat damage? Yeah, creatures deal no combat damage this turn. So I'm going to draw. Uh, okay, I will uh, Vincer that back to your hand. Okay. So now does it matter? Can you... Can you still kill me if I maze it? It's your biggest thing. Yes, absolutely. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, okay. I can kill everyone several times over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. This is yeah. Vencer was the was the thing we were waiting on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Then yeah, we have all died by a million. Okay. Cool. Got that. Yikes. Gg. Well, Gg's. There it is. <laughs> Holy shit. And that is it for game two. I can't believe it was so close. Uh, there's a lot of feelings about this one. We were recording this at like 2 in the morning. We recorded a previous game that we didn't use. We were all super tired. I absolutely punted by not letting uh, Shinkari or Alex, as I'm going to keep messing it up, uh, attack me. But then he wasn't communicating well enough, so I didn't want to take damage. And then Eli managed to pull out the win at 1 for what is probably enough damage to kill us for the entire series uh, over, like every other game we're going to do. So anyways, it was an exciting exciting finish. Uh, I, I loved seeing all of these decks go at it. I love the banter. It was super fun. Anyways, uh, just a reminder that uh, Friendetta is uploading every single Monday. So if you check back here on Mondays, like I said, you'll see a new one. And this show and all of my creations are powered by Patreon. Uh, you can see the list of patrons, plus a few new patrons. Thank 
that's thanks all of you scrolling on the screen right now and if you want a link to that patreon you can find it in the description below you can also find where to find my editor everyone who contributed to making this video all of the other uh people who were on it if you want to check out their streams or social media or whatever anyways thank you all so much for watching uh i hope you guys continue to stick around i think that the best games are yet to come so until next monday i will see you all later